think the line is bad. I just don't think it was good. <music> beautiful people it's Yvette Curran if you're new to my channel welcome so I really didn't want to do this video actually I'll take that back I wanted to do this video but I didn't want this video to be what it is so I'm sure if you saw the title you probably clicked on this video because we've seen a lot of Fenty skin review videos out there but I wanted to give my unbiased review so I purchased Fenty skin like everyone else who has who did not receive it in PR because I really wanted to try it out I was excited about it I love the packaging all that fun jazz and it's Rihanna oh well, excuse me it's Rihanna 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 I really want to say it like her because I'm like dang we've been butchering her name for so long she legit says Rihanna and we say Rihanna it's Rihanna that feels so weird before I purchased the full line, I watched a lot of reviews on YouTube and I felt like I had a good general idea of how it was going to work on my skin. If you don't know anything about me or you don't follow me on Instagram, I talk about skincare a lot. I've tried a lot of products all the time. I love skincare. I'm not an esthetician or anything, but I do try a lot of products and I kind of know pretty much what kind of products or ingredients are going to work for me. So I already kind of had an idea. I watched how I worked on other people's skin and I kind of was like, I don't even know if this is going to be amazing on me, but you know, everybody's skin is different. So I wanted to try to test it out. So obviously this is my personal review. It might not be somebody else's review. It might not have had the same reaction to somebody else, but I kind of want to share why I stopped using Fenty Skin. So just want to start with every product individually. We're going to start with the cleanser so we all know what it looks like I'm not going to use it I'm not going to give y'all a pretty demonstration I'm sure you've seen several videos but it is really cool it has a little twisty top I was excited about that that's fancy you know it's really nice the scent I normally don't use products that have a fragrance but I wasn't mad at having a fragrance and I was very impressed when I first used it because it did take my makeup off and I was like okay that's what it's supposed to do take your makeup off I love that what I normally use to take my makeup off is like a cleansing balm, oil-based cleanser, something like that. So, and I do a double cleanse. I'm a, hi Charlie, I'm a double cleanse type chick. So, this is supposed to be a two-in-one, therefore you're not supposed to do a double cleanse. So, I did use this product alone and I didn't have to necessarily do a double cleanse, but I wanted to do a double cleanse and I'm going to tell you why. After using it, my face felt, it didn't feel too stripped, but it didn't feel moisturized or hydrated either. I have like normal to dry skin. My skin gets really dry, so I use a lot of hydrating products. So for me, this really didn't hydrate. And I have some, I have some cleansers that like really hydrate my skin. I can leave it, I use in the description box below. I don't want to like share my full skincare routine with you guys. This is not about that, but I can leave it in the description box if anybody wants to check it out. But I normally like cleansers is gonna make me feel really hydrated when I get done so this one didn't give me that vibe I didn't feel like super stripped but I didn't feel like it did anything extra either I was like okay I can use this as like a makeup remover and maybe use my regular cleanser afterwards and then I really feel like okay I did a double cleanse and it's, it took the makeup off and did what I need to do but for me, that defeats the purpose of the product because the product is supposed to be a two-in-one, so I won't have to do those two steps. And personally, I like using a cleansing balm, so I'm good on it. The second product, the fat water. The fat water is a pore refining toner and serum combo. Again, it has a fun twisty top. Um, which is very cool and it looks so pretty. I'm like, look how beautiful this is. Like, so beautiful. Okay, so for toners, I love hydrating toners or sometimes I use a toner that is more active. I do have about six or seven different toners, guys, and I kind of use them differently. Like I have some strong active ingredient, I'll use like a rose water toner because I feel like it's like really subtle and not gonna do too much. But in the morning time, I don't put anything on my face. It has like really strong active ingredients. And I'm gonna use like maybe my acne blemish control toner or my pharmacy toner or something else. So I already have toners that I love. This one, I 
think is the culprit to drying out my skin. So this whole line, I use these three products alone. I'm sorry because reviews all over the place. I use the three products alone. I did not use my other products in the morning. I did my normal night routine though, but I use these products in the morning time. And every day I just felt like my skin was so dry. And it made me so sad because I didn't want to add anything extra. I wanted to just keep it using Fenty Skin, just really see how it works in my skin. And my skin was just so dry. And I did a really good job getting my skin back really hydrated and moisturized. So I was just very disappointed that my skin was dry. And then on the last day before I stopped using it, I started breaking out on my chin. I had like little bumps here, I had one on my cheek, and I was like, no. I haven't had acne in a good minute and when I do it's normally hormonal I, I just wasn't I wasn't trying to get with it so I just stopped using Fenty skin altogether and I just don't want to take the risk anymore but the serum toner I just don't think it was best for me I think it was what was causing like dry and break out um, so I don't think I'll ever use this again the cleanser I'm gonna still use because I want to use it up. I paid for it, but I probably won't use it alone. I'll probably use it with another cleanser. Um, and yeah, let's go into the moisturizer SPF. So again, the packaging is super cool. Like this is very very cool, and I actually was excited about this. Um, and again, I don't think this is. I don't think the whole. I don't think the line is bad. I just don't think it was good for me because the moisturizer SPF combo was not moisture moisturizing enough well there we go it was not moisturizing enough for my skin like I needed extra moisture after like 15 minutes of applying it like after I let it like settle in my skin was clenching for something else and no my current moisturizer is just so good like I put it on and my I got this dewy glow and then I put my sunscreen on top of my skin is still glowing for like hours later so I was just very sad that this was what was happening with this moisturizer SPF combo now what I'm gonna do because again I don't want to waste the product I'm going to put my normal moisturizer on and then use this on top as an SPF because I think it might be good as an SPF but as a moisturizer for my skin it just did not work out so I'm gonna again get my money's worth because I did not pay whatever how much I paid for this to not get my money's worth. So I was kind of disappointed. I know it was like $80 and I have not bought skincare in a very long time because I get a lot of skincare. I work with a lot of skincare brands and I'm an ambassador for Derma E and I love their skincare and they sent me product for free. So I was like, okay, I'm going out of my way to purchase this. So I was very excited for it. I had like high hopes. And it just didn't do anything for me. And y'all, that really hurt my heart. Like, Rihanna. I don't know why I feel so weird saying Rihanna, but Rihanna. I feel like Rihanna just makes her sound like a country bumpkin. And she's not that. She's like Rihanna. Like, it sounds so, you know? But Rihanna, like, for real. I was very, 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 very sad that I had to stop using it. And I know everybody's skin is different, so I'm sure some people's skin it actually worked amazing for, but I just feel like if I don't want this product to replace something that I currently have in my skincare routine, then it's not like good, you know? Like, it's cool, it's cool. So I don't wanna like give it like the worst review, um, cause I don't think it was awful. I just don't think it was good for my skin and I wouldn't buy it again. But the packaging is amazing and it looks so beautiful so i'm going to leave it in my like <laughs> nightstand thing in my restroom or my sink <sighs> but yeah i looked at a lot of people's reviews and like a lot of estheticians and people who like you know were breaking down the ingredients and i was like okay cool 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 some of the ingredients were cool i think that with a toner because it has witch hazel in it and i stopped using witch hazel like completely because it was drying out my skin that I feel like the toner was really like the culprit in the drying of the skin part. Also, I don't know what was really breaking me out, but something was breaking me out or maybe all these products in conjunction to my nighttime routine was not, they didn't like each other. Nighttime routine consists of Curology's treatment. So maybe that treatment did not work well with the Fenty skin. I'm really not sure, but I wanted to hop on here and give my review. I think the packaging is beautiful and I'm still like, congrats Rihanna on putting out a line and getting into the skincare market. I already know 
her next skincare release will be probably individuals. She'll probably do fragrance free because I'm sure a lot of people said something about it and I already know she's gonna come with it harder because it's Rihanna. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Like I didn't wanna bash it, but I just wanted to share like how it was with my skin and what I experienced. And I talked to a few of my friends and they kind of were experiencing the same thing. So I was like, that's interesting because none of the reviews talked about any of this stuff. So I was like, are people lying? Like, what? So again, try it out for yourself. Everybody's skin is different, but that's just how it worked for me. So if you enjoyed this review, sorry, I was running my mouth for a long time, just like all over the place, but I didn't want to test out and do like a product, like I'm using the product review because I feel like we've seen that enough. I've seen enough of those on YouTube and you can see how it works. Like I gotta put it on my skin to show you how it looks on my skin, um, but I did use it. I, per I got it Friday and I've been using it all throughout the week. I just stopped using it yesterday, so. Yeah. So that was it. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have another a really fun skincare video planned and I'm very excited about this because it's going to be good. Charlie! Yeah, I'm very excited about this. It's going to be good. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!